The update that we have today is by no means perfect, but compared to last week's terrible device breaking update, this one for sure is a step in the positive direction. And on top of that, at the time I'm recording this video, it's available to developer and public beta testers. So irregardless of who you are, you can actually test it out. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all that's new compared to what we are coming from. Flow nice, you should open your heart. I want to see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you the God. So Mac OS 14 Sonoma Beta 4 is here. And for me on my MacBook Pro, you can see the update size here. It comes in at exactly 759.1 megabytes. I was updating from macOS Sonoma Beta for the initial release. And since this is the re-release version, you can see how the download file size jumped. It jumped to exactly 2.01 gigs and comparing this to the initial release the initial release actually came in at 2.28 gigs and the download file size was 3.53 gigs so a little bit similar but this one the re-release version does come in slightly smaller if we go to the apple developer page right here on safari you'll be able to see that apple has re-released ios 17 beta 4 today on july 31st as well as ipad os 17 beta 4 and mac os 14 beta 4. This is the video that I'm doing for macOS. However, when it comes to watchOS 10 and tvOS 17 beta 4, there is no re-released version for those. And these are what Apple has decided to re-release today. And I do cover some of these. So if you want to keep up to date and get to know what's new within these updates, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Here are some of the software changes that this new update has to offer so if we go into our system settings go to general and go to software update you will see that my device is up to date and right here you can see the new build number so we have 23a5 301H. So this build number has an H at the end and coming from the initial Mac OS 14 beta 4, that one, the, the update we got last week had a G. So we went from a G to an H. So in a sense, we took a step in the negative direction so it's a minus one and then if we go to see the so storage that mac os is taking it just takes a moment to load and right here you can see that mac os is taking 19.19 gigs and before that it was taking 19.23 gigs so slightly smaller but nonetheless more or less the same now when it comes to the new changes that this update has to offer the first one that i would like to put out there since since last week I had to actually do a PSA announcement or warning. This time around, there is no PSA that's required because this update is stable and it's fixing the issues that were introduced last week. And in fact, if we go to this page, you'll be able to see what was happening for sure last week. So we'll go to this page. You can see Mac OS 14 Sonoma Beta 4 was not installing properly for most users. And some people would be greeted by an empty black screen on their device or even worse a non-functional device and the only thing that would sometimes if you are lucky be visible is the mouse pointer and this was affecting different users for me i had backed up my device and i was able to update so this time around with mac os 14 beta 4 re-released this issue has been patched up and it's also the reason why the public beta 2 or public beta 4 whatever you decide to call it got released one week after it was supposed to have been released two days later but this is the reason why and it has been patched up within this update now the second change that's here with this update if you go into your launch pad and open up the app store if you go to where it says arcade right there you notice that with this update there's the new section here that gives you a better visual presentation on how you can do search or 
categorize your searches here in the app store so this is new with the re-released and it's something minor for those that use arcade and then also when it comes to this update if you go into your system settings right here and go to where it says privacy and security it just takes a moment to go all the way to the bottom and you go to where it says sensitive content warning last week there was a bug with this section but now it's grayed out but on the own section which i guess is a good thing but then if you wanted to alter some settings here you can go into screen time and go to communication safety there and you'll be able to toggle some of the settings on and off just a minor change there and then when it comes to this update if you are using widgets i'll be happy to let you know that if you look on this section here you can see that my widgets are actually showing up which is a good thing but then at the same time if you try and add widgets to your screen you can see here my widgets some of them you know are working but most of them are not and if you go to the edit widget screen right here you can see that most of my widgets are blacked out so it is a bug but the good thing that they fixed with this update is that iphone widgets with continuity are here and unlike before where they were not all showing up and sometimes they would disappear like my battery icon I had to re-add it this time around I didn't have to do anything but as you can see here the system is still buggy and um, the widgets are not fully functional as you can see when it comes to safari if we go to about safari section here I guess it's a good thing but you can see here the version is still the same and the build number is still the same as what we had last week with the initial release so 19616.1.24.11.3 exactly the same as what we got last week so safari more or less the same just minor patches in the background now when we look at the performance that this update has to offer i did run geekbench score and these are the results that i got on mac os 14 sonoma beta 4 the re-released version single core i got a score of 1757 and multi-core i got 9597 comparing these side to side you can see the score that i got on the initial mac os 14 beta 4 and it was 1705 and 9425 so in a sense you can see that this mac os 14 beta 4 re-released is slightly better than what we had last week which is a positive thing that's here with this update but other than that it seems to be a minor bug fix update and when it comes to you know in case you are curious about my battery health and battery performance you can see here if i go to my battery health it's on 96 percent the maximum capacity and i haven't been testing it much but you can get an overall overview of my screen on time and energy usage that's associated with that i can't really complain much it's been more average and if you're wondering whether you should update or not i would say that the build number in itself should give you something because you notice that apple took it a step back showing that it's not as stable as the probably anticipated it to be and you can see it has a bunch of known issues that it still has so it's not yet polished and for a main device i wouldn't really recommend that you jump to this beta as of yet but other than that that's about it for me when it comes to mac os 14 sonoma beta 4 really released let me know what you think about this video and uh, if you are going to take on the hassle of trying to update on the beta now Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It don't matter what he say, don't matter what she say, don't matter what they say, regalia AK, guns for me day. I'm not a law abiding citizen. I come to paralyze the leader red. Rumors antagonize the dinner dates. Some devastation from the paper pen. I make the papa leader red. I only meditate some kill it vanilla. Don't spill the conscious, steal the keys. Once was affected, I no longer breathe. I'm wide awake in the atmosphere. Solitary, sick and tired of wavy, seated like the navy. We don't like to try to split conversation. She's flipping on the Bible page.